Cobalt 60 is a radioisotope of synthetic form which has a half-life of 5.27 years and was discovered by a Swedish scientist, George Grant, in 1735. Cobalt 60 is one of the most accurate and trusted therapy for treating cancer, in particular brain tumours. What type of radiation does it produce? Cobalt 60 releases a type of emission called beta decay of cobalt 59. Beta decay occurs when an atomic nucleus decays and it's accompanied by the emission of a beta particle. Cobalt-60 produces high-energy gamma rays, which can pose as a risk if consumed through contaminated water and food. This type of isotope is the strongest form of radiation and the only type that can pass through human skin. How is it used? Beta decay is used in the medical department in the form of radiotherapy on the human body. It is very successful in eradicating brain tumours because of its concentrated doses and does not affect the surrounding tissues in the brain. This therapy is more commonly known as gamma knife therapy. Gamma therapy is applied by firstly applying a dose of general anaesthetic on four points of the skull. Next, a metal helmet is to be worn to keep the head in position. Then, around 200 rays of radiation is directed straight at the cancerous tumour. The rays of cobalt-60 destroy the cells of the targeted area and prevent them from reproducing. The use of this isotope also varies from sterilisation of medical instruments, radiotherapy on other types of cancer, and sterilizing pests. This form of therapy has been used to treat tumors and other illnesses for over 60 years. The benefits of cobalt-60 therapy are significantly higher than other forms of cancer therapy, like chemotherapy and surgery. The problems are less harmful and most patients have little to no side effects. The process is quick and convenient and the treatment takes from a few minutes to a few hours to work. And after this period, the patient is able to return home and continue their life instead of staying in hospital. Other positive benefits include the reduced cost of treatment and the lower risk of surgery related problems like blood loss. The problems linked to cobalt-60 therapy are not common and can be avoided with the right expertise and handling of the radiation. If the equipment used in the treatment is not kept up to high standards, this could affect the, how the isotope reacts to the patient. Complications from this could include burns, scalp and hair issues, further illness from tumour and even death. Cobalt-60 also has a short half-life, which means that treatment would have to be repeated. Cobalt-60 also has the potential to contaminate the environment through leaks and poor management of chemical waste at power plants. In conclusion, Cobalt-60 has a significantly lower risk than other forms of cancer treatment and is affordable and cheaper than invasive surgery and therapy. The use of this isotope has many positive factors which far outweigh the negatives. Cobalt-60 has been used and trusted for over 60 years and has saved the lives of many people around the world.